Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm kind of winging things. I'm making some chicken breasts on the bone and I'm going to bake them off. And I'm actually going to use this really cool barbecue sauce. It's a honey lemon rosemary barbecue sauce from Amazing Dad's Barbecue Sauce. And I did not get that in my grocery store. I got that at Harvest Barn Country Markets. There's two of them in southern Ontario. There's one in St. Catharines and there's one in Niagara on the Lakes. But if you don't, um, if you can't get there, you're not frequent there, check them out online at harvestbarn.ca. Anyhow, this is a really tasty barbecue sauce. It comes in this cool pack with a little horse spout thing. Keeps everything nice and fresh. Put it in your fridge after, right? So we're going to put this barbecue sauce and we're going to kick it up like a tiny notch just because I can't help but do that. All right, so here we go. We're going to put these chicken breasts in this bag and we're going to marinate these for at least half an hour, okay? So let's do this. Into the bag. Need a new plate. Wash your hands. I always like to put, use a bowl like this so that I can keep every, any kind of runaway juices away from everything in the refrigerator because this is where it's going to marinate. It's going to be sitting in the refrigerator, okay? Let's put some of this stuff in. We're also going to put um, use this for a dunking sauce uh, with the chicken. That looks really nice. And I was actually surprised because it says a barbecue sauce, right? So I'm expecting this like, you know, this specific color, like a darker barbecue sauce, like what most barbecue sauces are made of. But hey, guess what? I was happily surprised to see something different. I love different. So look how light in color that is. It's a lemon, honey, rosemary. It smells awesome. Thank you, awesome dads. So I guess that's amazing dads. I guess that's why they call it that. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bay leaf or two. I want to get a lot of flavor in this in a very short time. Look at this giant bay leaf. It's a shame to use it for this. Darn it all the heck. I'm going to use a smaller one. One in there like that, okay? I'm actually going to put some parsley flakes in. I know they're dried. If you have fresh, go ahead, but I don't have it. Well, I do have it. I just don't feel like chopping it up. How about that? And I'm sure that happens to you too. Jeez. All right. Don't hate. Don't judge. Okay, I'm gonna crack up some cool pepper though. And we're gonna do we're gonna use this white campot pepper that I got. This is a Cambodian pepper. You can get this um, online at campot-pepper.asia. Probably have it at the bottom of the screen now for you. I'm gonna take about eight or ten of these bad boys, eyeball them. These are the white colored ones. This is what the bag looks like that you get. And they have white ones, they have red ones, they have black ones, they have green ones. They're pretty cool. Anyhow, they have a really nice, unique flavor, and that's just what I'm using tonight. So crack them up. Awesome. Okay, get all that in there. I dumped a little bit of it. We're going to use it all. All right. Next, I'm going to crack up just a couple of chili flakes. This is from a Drogaria um, spice grinder. They have salt and peppers and chili and garlic and stuff, but it's really heavy duty. This stuff is really fresh, especially that chili stuff. You don't need a whole bunch. When typically you would use a whole handful of this stuff, you only need a couple um, turns of your grinder with that. All right, that's all I'm gonna do with this. Just, just kick it up a tiny, tiny bit. And we're gonna close this up. We're gonna make sure everything's nice and coated and evenly distributed. And we're gonna let this sit in our fridge for 30 minutes. Put your timer on if you want. Or if you can leave it longer or even overnight, you'd probably be a lot happier too. All right, everybody. My chicken has been marinating for 30 minutes in the oven. And right now I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. I just want them done a little quicker. It's getting late and stuff. So I have my cookie sheet with a silicone um, mat on there that keeps everything nonstick. But even though I use that, I still tend to uh, spray it up just to make sure no one wants their chicken to stick, right? All right. Now, this is real simple. I'm just going to place it on here with the skin side up. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Gorgeous. I can't wait to tell you how good this stuff is. All right. Now, I'm just going to arrange them on your cookie sheet. And into the oven they go. This is going to take probably 45 minutes to 50 minutes, I would say. Now, just eyeball it. You want to make sure that they're, um, all the juices are running clear. Halfway through, you're going to flip them over. The last five minutes, we're going to turn it up, and we're probably going to broil the skin just to make it nice and crispy. All right, in, wash your hands, and then into the oven. Okay, here's my chicken. 
It looks lovely. Don't be afraid that that's burned on the bottom a little bit. That's just a little bit of that marinade and you don't have to worry about that. We're gonna flip these pieces over. They look gorgeous, they smell gorgeous. Now I just put a little bit of parsley in there, mom. A little bit of extra pepper and that was that, you know? So these are gonna go over, set your timer again for 20 more minutes. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat these. 20 more minutes and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, let's check out this chicken. It looks stupendous, it smells delicious. And we're gonna flip these guys over, we're gonna throw them back in for like, I don't know, like a minute. These, look at how gorgeous. That's that honey all caramelized on there. I just wanna dry out that skin just a tiny bit because I like my skin a little bit crispier. And it's just a little bit moist, that's all, no big deal. So I'm gonna put it under the broiler for like one minute. All right, my chicken is done like dinner. It's so gonna be great. Oh man, that skin is gorgeous. I'm so excited to try these. What am I gonna do with myself? Okay, this is the one I'm going to eat. These ones I'm gonna put over here for right now. They look stupendous. I wish you guys, you can't really see because it looks like um, this stuff is burned. Now you see why I like to use a silicone baking sheet because it keeps my cookie sheet from getting all, you know, barbecued up. Now that's just gonna wipe right off of there with no problem. All right, so we're gonna try a piece of this meat. I'm really excited about this. This is gonna be so hot. If you can wait, let it cool down a bit so you don't hurt yourself. But I'm really excited. Come on, meat. Here we go. Mm. That's good stuff. Mmm, that's really now, good. The chicken is good, and yes, I can cook, but this is the main point. This is the whole, most of the flavoring from this chicken, these great roasted chicken breasts from this amazing dad's barbecue sauce. Now, this is their honey lemon rosemary flavor. It's stellar, just saying, gorgeous. All I did was put that on, a little bit of extra pepper and a bay leaf in the, in the marinade. No big deal, right? Super simple, beautiful. Look at how that caramelized all up. It made that skin look so good and the flavor is out of this world. I'm so excited. Anyway, so what am I eating with this tonight? We're serving this alongside some roasted kohlrabi as well as some roasted okra. Make sure you check out those recipes, you're gonna like that. Mmm, and that skin, so good. Anyhow, that's how you roast honey, lemon, rosemary, barbecue, chicken breast. That's what's up, that's it, that's all. Make sure you check out this barbecue sauce at Harvest Barn. You can find them online at harvestbarn.ca or if you're in Southern Ontario, they have one in St. Catharines and one in Niagara on the Lake, Harvest Barn Country Markets, bottom of the screen. Anyhow, I hope you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan pages, Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly and iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. Come interact with me. Let me know what's going down in your culinary world. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.